Are we ready to be extremely exhausted by the end of the day? Bring it on. Hello and welcome back to my channel, everybody. If you guys are new here, my name is Nush and I make reactions here on YouTube. And today we're gonna to be continuing on our Eurovision 2024 series, which will be going ahead in the city of Malmö, Sweden on the 7th to the 11th of May. And today is our very first Super Saturday of the season. Now, if you have no idea, the Super Saturdays are paramount for us Eurovision fans because it means that there is a bunch of national finals coming to an end and those countries have selected their song for Eurovision and there is definitely a few today that is Ukraine's Vidbir, Norway's Melody Grand Prix, Malta's MESC and of course Benidorm Fest from Spain and not even to mention we have Sweden's Melody Festival and Heat 1, Lithuania's Eurovision.lt Heat 4 and of course Latvia's Supernova semi-final. So we have a lot to get through today. I was a waiting very eagerly for Vidbir to end, which it did, and then they, it seems like they've got some issues with their voting system. But anyway, we're gonna have to wait till tomorrow for that. That's very disappointing. I was very excited to see who got that. But we officially have our first song of today, and that is from Melody Grand Prix. Norway has selected to send Gata with the song Ulverham to Eurovision 2024. As well as I'm very, very happy about this because this was in my top three. Three. I am very disappointed that Dumb Digger didn't get it from Kaino. However, they've been to Eurovision before, they've done it very well at Eurovision, they won the televote. So maybe it's time that Norway sends someone new. I do think that this is a fantastic song. I cannot wait to see what the final performance is gonna be like. Kaino did come second though, so I'm not surprised about that. And Erica and Super Rob got third. My top three got it. Just saying, I know my stuff, maybe a little bit. Without further ado, why don't we get into this to see what Norway has got to hold for Eurovision 2024. But before we do so, if you would like to see full unedited reactions as well as some exclusive content, I will be uploading all of that on my members only. So if you click the join now button down there, you will get to see all of that. You are able to cancel anytime, so just give it a go and help a girl out because of course this will also help support me making these videos for you further and if you are new here and love a bit of Eurovision which I'm sure you do otherwise you wouldn't be clicking on this video please do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel over here that is very important clicking that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos and if you want to follow me over on Instagram it is Nish 101 okay here we go Yee. That haunting sound from the beginning. Oh, that light. She looks good. Those like string instruments? What even is that? I need to know. I have been playing this a few times, I will admit. <laughs> I love how she's turning oh, with those lights. So dramatic. Ah. Beautiful in every single aspect. I absolutely love it. I mean, I did the first time I watched it anyway, but just how captivating is this? But also being very true to the Norwegian roots, the rock element as well is something quite unique in general because i mean i do listen to rock music but i've never heard norwegian rock quite like this before in fact have i listened to norwegian rock probably not this is the first time i'm hearing it 
and it just works so well. Ah, oh, I love it. The visuals. So like mystical. Darkness, but there's also lightness in it as well. God, the choreo! She's got your attention, hasn't she? That vocal. I have no idea what she's saying, but I feel it. Yeah, I'm not doing her any justice by singing. How is she doing that with her voice? Wow. Tingles everywhere. She must be getting a bit dizzy though. <laughs> wow. Like, wow, wow, wow. <sighs> yeah, no way. That was the right pick for this year's Eurovision, for sure. However much I kept saying, like, kind of, kind of, kind of. This is super, super refreshing. And I think that no matter if you like rock music or not, you are gonna be so captivated by this performance that I'd be surprised if this isn't in the top five contender for this year's contest. It's 100% top 10. There's no question of a doubt about that. I'm not even going to give any energy in saying that it's anything less because it just has every single right box ticked every single one it's in the native language it sounds like it's from where it is vocals on point the choreo with the guitarists and everyone on stage pretty much is in sync here even though she's in the middle the whole time and she's not really moving okay she's moving around there's just this like unity between them all and honestly this casted a spell on me clearly i'm i'm over the moon with it I knew from the moment i watched this for the first time it was great and eurovision worthy but now with this final performance the energy here is just like here so so happy well done norway you definitely made the right pick and i know that this is going to do very very well this could even potentially win the contest i am that confident in this performance and song yeah i don't think there's anything else to say i think this is probably a nine out of ten for me at this point and it can only get better when it comes to the actual contest itself really can't see it getting any better because it is pretty much there but they will do that so prepare yourselves but anyway i rambled on for far too long i am gonna go ahead and finish off this super saturday because there's a few more songs that are coming out tonight but of course that was just what i thought i want to know what you thought of norway's song for this year's eurovision song contest please let me know down in the comment section below i'm gonna go and i will see you very very soon Bye bye